kill him properly this time. The new second best deck of 2020 after Pendulum? Let's go, Pack! Pack's gonna be guest uploading the new hot deck that's releasing in a week, Inferno Bulls. It's a really good deck. Probably the second best deck after Pendulum. And if you guys don't know what it, you, what it does, you guys stay tuned to the end of the video to check out the greatness of this deck. If you're new to the channel, smash the subscribe button. It's my boy Pack. So make sure to subscribe to Pack as well. That's my boy right there. And don't forget to get a beautiful trip gaming playmat. You guys missed the opportunity to get the Joker playmats yesterday. It was a one day only. But just joking, baby. We're extending it for one more day. If you want to get your Joker playmats, get them right now. Available for one last day. And that's it. <laughs> properly this time and that's it baby so get yours right now while they last joker kira double iris let's kill him properly thor iron man captain america look out thanos look out meta so you're ready for the video smash the subscribe button get your play man and let's go baby inferno balls the new hottest deck of 2020 let's go hey what's up Triff's channel and uh what's up pendulum gang um today i'm gonna be showcasing something a little different than what you're used to seeing on um you know Triff's channel so today I'm going to be showcasing you guys Infernobles and a bunch of like different combo variations um, just so that uh, you guys can understand you know how this deck functions especially because a lot of players are you know opting or deciding to like play this deck and you know especially if you're playing pendulums or like any deck to that matter you need to understand how other deck works in order to combat them. Um, so today I'm going to be showcasing you guys like four different combo videos. Um, two of them are going to be on Triff's channel and the other two are going to be on my channel tomorrow. Um, so in the meantime, I'm going to show you guys like, um, this is like literally test hands. Um, I did this live on stream at twitch.tv slash pack underscore official underscore TCG. Um, and I'm just like recording that right now. So, um, without further ado, guys, we're going to jump right into it. I'm going to show you guys like this deck is probably like, it requires a lot of thinking. Um, and I really appreciate like those type of combo decks where it's a lot more nuanced and not as straightforward. Um, so, uh, let's like jump right into it. I start off with Rota, I get Neospace, Neospace effect, get Dolphin. Then here I use Dolphin effect, discard Autonomous. The reason why I discard Autonomous is because I want to equip card in the graveyard for Gear Freed. And Autonomous is like really reliant on them hand trapping me. Uh, whereas I rather like Living Fossil and use that as an extender instead of like hoping they have a hand trap uh, to like play off the Autonomous. Um, I mean, I see their hand off Dolphin, so I rip one, hopefully. If not, that's fine. Um, then I make the um, Sold. Sold gets me a free red layer. Um, sorry, that was a misclick right there. Um, then we're going to summon Gear Free, which is on the fourth summon. Activate Living Fossil to bring back Dolphin. So if you saw that line of play there, I, uh, my, uh, Aqua Dolphin was my fifth summon, but because I own an equip spell on my field, I have Gear Free as a negate, so they cannot, I cannot get Nibiru here. Um, next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a sold second effect. And so the most important thing that I did was I set up a form of interruption to make sure that I cannot get Nibiru, Baylor, um, Ash on the sold. Um, therefore, I can then resolve the sold perfectly fine. I then summon six samurai Genba here. Genba being a level two tuner um, is really, really important and a warrior. Um, and that's like the main reason why I'm playing that. Um, uh, from here, I'm going to turn his soul into a Link Cross and then make two tokens off this. Here, um, I then can, um, after linking his soul off for a soul, I, in, the, in my graveyard, I have exactly two wares, which means Phoenix Blaze can go to my hand so that I can equip it to the Gear Freed so that if I were to use Aqua Dolphin as material, I can then ensure that I still have it equipped on the field at all times to make sure that I don't get um, the beard. Next, I'm going to use Genba um, and the level 1 token to make a Marsha to bring back the Genba and then use Genba plus the Dolphin to make uh, Roland. From here, I'm going to use Roland to make Coral Dragon and then use Coral Dragon and the Link Cross to make Needle Fiber and then Chain Block the Fiber. So um, from there, yeah, I meant to summon um, Justin Cron here, guys. And then from here, I'm going to summon um, the Auroradon. After I got the jet synchron, get the jet synchron, summon the uh, O line, and then from here I'm gonna summon the uh, Rose Maiden, uh, make a level three token off of the O line, and then from here I'm gonna use those two into Borlord Savage, which is the Metal Marcher and the Rose Maiden, so that gets me three interruptions or like three counters on Borlord Savage. From there I can banish Rose Maiden to bring back Coral Dragon, use Coral Dragon a level three token to make uh, Charlemagne. Um, and then I can use 
Jet Synchron effect to dump the uh, red layer that I added. That use that to make a um, a herald. So I think herald is really really important to end on in any combo deck nowadays because of Forbidden Droplet. So essentially, like if they try to Forbidden Droplet you, um, they cannot send monsters from the hand to the graveyard for cost because uh, in order to prevent you from responding, uh, which is really really good. So that allows you you to actually play around Forbidden Droplet um, due due to herald. Um, so I really really appreciate that. Um, and then secondly, um, this board is very powerful. So what does this encompass? Well, first I Dolphin Handloop for one. Charlemagne's gonna Handloop for the second time with Smoke Grenade. Uh, I have one Negate off Savage, one Negate off Herald, and then a Monster Negate off Gear Freed. So it's essentially like, if you look at it, like five forms of disruption for like cards in their hand. And like, um, you can also like keep in mind that, you know, you have um, Roland as a quick effect Dryden too off Charlemagne on the opponent's turn so that's like another form of interruption on the opponent's turn so being able to have all these forms of interruption is really really nuts um another cool interaction is essentially if a monster becomes equipped with an equipped spell which means if you were to equip world savage through its effect like you know equip like a rodon it actually would trigger charlemagne which is um, another cool interaction um and now we're going to go into like a second phase of this combo or like another variation Alright guys, I'm back and I'm going to show you guys the second variation, another variation of the combo. This is like more of a two card combo, but honestly, I believe that Infra Nobles is one of those decks that you kind of play with the hand that you have. Very similar to like Pendulums and how they work. Uh, well, in this case, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going Old Gear, um, dump Gear Freed, and then use Durandal, equip to Old Gear to add Renald. I, I'm sorry if I skipped a couple steps here, but essentially what I did was Normal Summon Old Gear, dump Phoenix, activate Durandal, equip to Old Gear, go Randall Effect, add Renald. And so from here, you can go over Null, add back Gear Freed. This is like in case you don't hard draw Gear Freed. Um, but anyways, we're going to banish the uh, Durandal, uh, summon the Gear Freed, link both of these into a soul. Uh, soul effect is going to trigger you, get you red layer. Um, you can then banish, Ol I'm sorry, not banish Old Gear, but trigger Old Gear in the graveyard to equip to the um, Gear Freed. Why do you do that? So that uh, essentially this is still under five summons. This is Gear Freed or like Assault was the fourth summon. So you want to have a form of interaction to prevent your Assault from getting stopped. Um, in, in this case, if um, you can then use the second effect of Assault and not worry about getting Hand Trapped here, except for like Impermanence, which actually bypasses this. Um, so if they do have the, the Impermanence, it's definitely a lot harder. Keep that in mind. We can then uh, summon the Genba. Um, so that's definitely a fundamental weakness of the deck, right? That you have to like understand like Imperm is really really strong against this deck just because you can't really negate that um, We're gonna make link cross and by a result of like making link cross We have two warriors in the graveyard, which makes your Phoenix blade live by the way um, But we're gonna use Genba you make metal marcher effect bring back Genba uh, we're gonna use uh, metal marcher and the token into a herald of the arc light um, so now we have essentially like more ways to like stop like you know a combination of hand traps um, Now we're because Gemma is a tuner. We can then make Hulky Fibrax summon the Jet Synchron Make Aurora Dawn get three tokens um, We're gonna tribute two of them to make O-Line make uh, Rose Maiden up here trigger a token We're then gonna banish two warriors to add a uh, Phoenix Blade to our hand we're then going to use just Synchron Effect to dump um, Phoenix Blade to the Graveyard um, under Herald. Um, where we can actually do this uh, because Herald only affects monsters from the hand or the main deck to the Graveyard that gets banished. Therefore, like you have to like add the Phoenix Blade here in this variation because you can't dump the Red Layer because uh, you can't you know legally activate just Synchron to discard a monster. It has to be a spell or trap. But anyway, so that's like why the Fiend Blade actually came up there. And then so you're going to use Jet Synchron and then the Rose Maiden into the Coral Dragon. Use Coral Dragon and the level 3 token to a Crocosaur. We're going to draw two cards off that. I'm going to keep in mind, this is a two card combo, guys. So you can already see how much two cards have plused us. Um, we're going to banish the Rose Maiden, bring back the Coral Dragon. And then from here, we get a free Charlemagne. So... Uh, because we already own the herald here, we can actually use the Crocosaur and the Phoenix and overlay them for a, a True Kings of All Calamities, um, which is not bad. Then we can then trigger the Charlemagne to uh, rip a card out of the opponent's hand, um, and then as well as equip like an Olivier or an Old Gear, depending on what sort of like protection you want on the Charlemagne. Because if Charlemagne sticks, right, like it's uh, really really oppressive. Um, and, and under keep in mind they're going to be under VFD, right? They can't really droplet you because uh, Herald is um 
You know, Her Herald is not pro allowing your opponent to send monsters from their hand to the graveyard for cost for the droplet, which lets you respond with uh, monster effects. Um, so that's really, really good. And that's why I advocate for Herald to be part of the combo now because Herald is what lets you play um, or under or like around like the droplet. Um, so that's like a fundamental weakness of the droplet that you have to like take into account. Um, so at this point, because we have VFD, they can't even attack the Charlemagne. It's gonna be really hard for them to get rid of it because at end phase, Charlemagne would actually equip the smoke grenade and equip a infernoble monster from the deck, right? So you can equip an all of your from the deck, which means this card can no longer be targeted, which is insane. And then at your opponent's end phase, Charlemagne actually triggers again um, during your opponent's end phase to equip another equip spell from the hand of graveyard and then another fire warrior. In this case, you'll equip equip O gear. So then Charlemagne essentially becomes a BLS link. It cannot be destroyed or targeted because it can be equipped by both all of your and old gear. And that's like another cool like technical play that you have to understand with the Infernoble Knights. Like that old gear and all of your when it, they become equipped to monsters, um, they have that graveyard effect. It's an ignition effect um, to to uh, to use, but they have a second graveyard effect uh, which is ignition to target a monster in the field to equip. Um, or a warrior monster you control and equip to them and then it gives them additional protection but in that essence we get to equip make charlemagne you know indestructible and then we get to pop another card or if we want we can actually pop our own smoke grenade and then rip another card out of their hand so uh, it's really really important to stick the charlemagne here and yes we don't have the roll in to banish and equip charlemagne but it doesn't matter because that extra form of pop you're still going to get it at the opponent's end phase anyways because it's going to be really hard for them to get rid of charlemagne while they have to deal with a vfd herald on top of everything right so um yeah that's pretty much it guys i hope you enjoyed like uh the two variations and two combos if you want to see more definitely go check out my channel uh you know triff will have all that information in the description box as well as the comment section below um yeah shout out to him for having me on um it's on, it's definitely an honor and also it's really really cool to show something different than what the channel currently has to offer so you, such so you guys get a different perspective as well as like understand how other decks are doing so that you can you know beat them and combat them um but anyway guys thank you so much for uh tuning in um, and checking this you know combo video out if you want to see like the deck profile and like more combos definitely like i said check out my channel again and i'll see you guys in the next one uh, stay safe y'all peace thanks everyone for watching big shout out to pack for coming onto the channel infernobles are the new hot deck of 2020 are they better than pendulums hell no as long as you play on the special joker playmat that's available for literally last day only i extended for one more day because it was a huge hit everyone loved it yesterday it's my personal favorite playmat and watch as you guys destroy the meta just as the avengers aka kieran double iris joker destroyed thanos let's go baby hope you guys like the video we'll see you guys in the next video peace <laughs>